Last week we braved storms and you saw how we resuscitated a drowned outboard motor and how we survived off the grid. But join us this time as we leave behind Australia to embark on our exciting travel adventures, starting with the collecting of our brand new Leopard 50 catamaran in the USA. So guys, today's a really exciting day because we've actually got the first photos of the Leopard 50, but I want to make this a surprise for Honey, so just bear with me a sec. Honey, I've got something I want to show you. Hang on, I'm just getting coffee cups. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, I've got a little. I got an email to I got an email today, honey. It's from it's from Leopard. <gasps> well, and like am i am i supposed to be excited or am i supposed to be nervous what am i supposed to be feeling here come on <laughs> <laughs> well you know you know how you know how two days ago we saw the picture of the silver fjord with the boats on the back yes yes i've got something i need to show you here so here we is have it, just tell me is it good news or is it <laughs> not so good news a look <gasps> is that what i think it is what is that oh my god is that is that our boat that is our boat and there's a picture on the outside oh my God. <laughs> let me look bob ross does say oh they arrive oh. they arrive in such a mess he should see what our boat looks like when we've been doing a bit of renos on it oh my god honey there's that's the, our there. boat that's the navigation oh station. my god i'm, I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed There's here. There's the code number. There's the steering station. <gasps> There's the saloon. There's the galley. Oh, that's your your area. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the steering station's my area. <laughs> oh my god, honey! Wow, this is amazing. This is like and they've got the teak flooring. Oh my god! Fridge freezer, washing machine. Who? Who has a washing machine on a boat? Oh. I mean, really. I mean, really, honey. Who has a washing oh, come machine? Come on, seriously. <laughs> lifting oh. platform. Oh my god. Upstairs fly bridge. That, that oh, is it's our so boat. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Dive tank holders. Oh, the dive tank holders. The dive right. tank holders are there. Oh my god. Oh, the cabins. The cabins. Master cabin. Our cabin. Oh, look how spacious it looks. Wait to roll around on that mattress. <laughs> oh, and the floor's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, I am so relieved because for a minute there, like we know that the, the ship has had like, there's about, been about five, four or five hurricanes, uh, out, hurricanes yeah. out there and it's had to dodge and, and we know it's, so it was it's, a little bit hair raising for so them. So Ultra Dash has arrived safely. And I kind of thought, <laughs> thank God for that, because I kind of thought, you know, it's either going to be really good news, or you've got to comfort me in some way. <laughs> or it's way. been dropped as it was taken off, because that does happen. Too I know, sometimes. I know, and you know, I was pushing those <laughs> negative thoughts out of my head, and I thought, no, everything's going to be good. But I just want it confirmed. This is a really exciting moment for us. Where two weeks before we leave to go to USA, we're um, backing out of work. We're backing selling the um, Alberdash we uh, you know got other houses that we're selling that we're just kind of closing deals and stuff and it's a really chaotic time right now and but it's also a very exciting time for us because in two weeks time a little over we'll be meeting our new beautiful boat. new boat for the first time and it's really been a 10-year plan for us hasn't it maybe it even longer we're really excited to be sharing this uh, journey, journey with you guys as well because i know there's a lot of you that have been with us to date so 
enjoy the journey guys we'll see you later oh hang Ending. on this is, this is yours yeah. <laughs> so, I've drunk half of it. <laughs> it's milk you didn't even know okay so all i can say is i'm packed i don't know about you i'm absolutely would, not packed that'd be ridiculous we've got two weeks to go he wouldn't let me pack i've been packing like for a year <laughs> anyway two i'm months. packed so i'm ready to go so let's go <laughs> All right, guys, so what are we doing here? We are having a going away party. So this is our going away party with some of our closest friends that we love and adore. And it's less than 30 because we're in the middle of the COVID thing here. So we're allowed to have up to 30, but we've had like a bit of a swinging door today. Rotating some in, some out. Yeah, and we're having a few drinks with some really <laughs> precious people and that we're going to miss. Before we leave. Mm -hmm. So it's only a few weeks before we leave and um, they've come to bid us farewell, fair winds and happy tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you met me, Judy. <laughs> so while on the surface we were having a lot of fun here, Behind the scenes, there was an enormous amount for us to do. We had two weeks to go. We had to fix up Al Badash with multiple jobs. We had to get her sold. We had to get approval to leave the country. We had to sort out our house, our garage. We had to sort out our practices and our businesses, buy medical supplies and organize everything we needed to have with us for a prolonged trip away from home. This our beautiful Al Badash. So just so that everybody's aware of the significance of this Perspex crazing. So these are the old windows and as you can see you can see through them but it's like looking through fog compared to that. So isn't that incredible. So these have been in for 18 years, 18 years and never ever leaked. Difficulty seeing the buildings compared to out the sides where that has been cleared and that has not. Okay, what was that all about? This was the old Perspex window and I was just trying to see how much force it could take. So we should be cleaning the garage but we're having too much fun with <laughs> doing this stuff so <laughs> we'll see how long it takes us. Alright so this is the brand new piece of Perspex. A lot tougher. Strong stuff, isn't it? Okay, I've had enough. That's good for me. Flights for both of us. This is our approval to leave the country. We've got your permission to leave the country. Woo! So you can go, but. Uh, when I read that before, I thought that was for both of us, but that's actually only stating your name. Okay. So clearly they sent us another email with my name. So I'm going back to that date to look for one 
with my name on it. All right. Well, I'll just wait then, shall I? Obviously, we didn't have any emails in my name, so I had to try and access the department. They had no email address that I could contact them by email personally, and the phone calls only got through to a reception, and they did not allow me access to the named official on my letter. Their advice was just to put in another application and see if it's approved in time. They could not give me any guarantees or put me through to the official who clearly made a mistake. After some nervous days of waiting, I did get a reply with my approval and it did arrive in time so we could breathe a sigh of relief. Elizabeth didn't have to go by herself. Well, it is Friday the 28th of August and it is quite a nostalgic day for us today because today is the last day that we are going to be doing clinical work at the surgery so John's actually stopping clinical work as from today I've got my last consult um, a mental health consult and then after that I'm free and we're on beautiful Alberdash at the moment and let's see who we can find in here it's the gorgeous Dr John McIntosh captain of Yarr. the barefoot doctors so what are you doing here just having a cup of coffee, just chilling out, no work to do, much time in the world as we like. <laughs> but we've been racing frantically to get the boat ready for sail. Okay. And now it is. So there's someone coming to have a look at it? Right this minute. Okay. Ten minutes maybe. So we have so we actually have about five, five inquiries, which we, is pretty amazing. We had six, one guy bought a different boat, but we still have five people actively interested, so that's really really positive mm. and, and they've all wanted a lot of information and they're all keen so we'll see yeah so one but lot's coming down today they're traveling from down south yeah south so um, yeah here we have Albadash she's looking beautiful and if these guys don't buy it I think I'll buy it myself <laughs> because uh, you know she's a beautiful boat anyway but um, she's come up really lovely and um, you know, there's um, it's just all schmicko. Um, main cabin through to the main communal head, and um, yeah, she's looking pretty lovely right now. We always close the door because it's better feng shui. And yeah, there we go. So hopefully she will have a new owner very soon. So three days to go to when we leave the country. And I just want to show you this. On the other side of paradise is our next job, which is to tidy up our seven meter wide garage. Old diesel generators, lawn mowers, fishing gear, computers, practice gear, table for building daggerboards, CDs, books. My nightmare, the garage, the dumping ground, the storage area. What are you doing with that? Try and separate it all so it can go flat into the skip, otherwise, it will take up all the space. Just like that. So, here is the outcome of the garage clean out, which took us a bit of time, but we have created space for the two cars. thrown away a whole skippy bin full of rubbish whole look at that full of stuff but at least our garage now works and both cars will fit in safely while we're away
right folks well we've just brought Albadash around back to the pontoon Safety for the boat. last time sure. tied up um, we had the assistance of the legendary Gordon Ricketts, Gordon Ricketts and he yacht said he's painter goodbye. extraordinaire. <laughs> so if you want your yacht painted, call Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we are on Albadash. This is um, the last probably half an hour that we're going to be here. So we just want to say a really big heartfelt thank you to Albadash for all the safe, wonderful trips she's taken us on. 18 years. 18 years of um, fantastic adventures. Actually. Yes. Um, not always smooth sailing, but... Well, um, Albadash coped fine. It's only the people on board that struggle sometimes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, it's quite a moment here. I'm... I'm oh. um, Are you a bit emotional? I'm a little bit emotional, yeah. Oh. Um, you know, Albadash has been a very big part of our life and our, well, our I suppose, love. I suppose in my life for about 22 years, isn't it? Because yeah. it took me three and a half to four years to build, so... 22 years worth of my life has been relating to this boat so quite and quite exciting it is quite exciting and she's going to a very good owner who will love her and love her <laughs> and um, we can't wait to hear her, her adventures stories, that's right as uh, she goes on to the next chapter in her life so and he's going to be racing her down and up up and down the coast <laughs> at huge speeds yeah. <laughs> and so if you see this whiz going past, <laughs> that's Albadash. <laughs> anyway, so... And Albadash will live up to the name of Dash, as in fast. That's right. So to our beautiful, beloved Albadash, we bid you farewell um, and good fair winds and... May the blessings of Neptune hold you safe in the future. Yes. Goodbye, beautiful girl. <laughs> Okay, so it's D-Day. This is the day we've been waiting for. We are packing, we are leaving today. I'm packing, the house is an absolute mess and I just want to find out what the good doctor is doing. So what are you doing? Well, we've got all the medications for the, uh, the boat, uh, the boat medical kit, plus the aid work we're going to be doing. So we really have to have a lot of different stuff to deal with trauma, deal with emergencies, deal with infections, deal with wounds etc so unfortunately the way the medication comes um, in Australia anyway is in these really frustrating boxes they have each pack of, of, of antibiotics in, a, in its own little box and each lot of antibiotic is, is blister packed and what that means is relatively small amounts of medication like 10 tablets take up a whole box so I'm going to have to go through all of these remove the boxes and pack all the blister packs together to try and shrink it down because we have two problems one is the weight um, that we're carrying because we really don't need all this cardboard and that attracts cockroaches on the boat um, and the space because we have to carry it in two bags so that's what i'm at the moment doing let's have a look through all the stuff that i've got here actually, all right what do you got stethoscope oroscope dermatoscope here we have instruments for excisions or for wounds a malaria kit um, Local anaesthetic, oops, focus, gauze swabs, local anaesthetic, dressings, bandages, flamazine for burns, bactroban for wounds, clausic for infected eyes, sutures, adrenaline for emergencies, steroids for allergies, phenergan for allergy, dressings, suture packs, Disinfectants, needles of different sizes, flucloxacillin for skin infections, amoxicillin for general infections, alprim for urinary tract infections, kefalexin, broad spectrum antibiotic, painkillers, painkillers, urine infections, creams, Vitamin C, hand wash. <laughs> you getting there? <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Just trying to make sure we have all the bits and pieces for the ph photography because there's so many little bits and pieces and attachments and spare batteries and some of the batteries need to go in the underneath luggage, not in the upstairs luggage. So separating everything out and I hope we can find it at the other end. 28 kilos, 28 kilos, 24 kilos, 25 kilos, 10 kilos, 
10 kilos. And Elizabeth. 86 kilos. <laughs> oh, I hope not. I hope. <laughs> Get your bird food as well. Yes. Okay, say goodbye, Fogi. It's a video. This is a video. Video. Bye. You just get my bed, mate. Second leg. So you can see it's really slim pickings. We are at the International Sydney Airport, ready to go on our flight to US. So it's pretty deserted here. There's not too much activity. So we'll go and take the ports in and uh, check in. As you can see, most things are closed. It's really desolate here. We were the last people on a flight out today and that was at about half past 11. It's uh, quite a feat to actually get through. Go through Rose 50 tape. to 54 are now welcome to board. That's us. Rose 50 so, to 54 are now welcome to board. We better go. Leg three. With the gas of the flight case, we have a zero box on our room. First continuation to seven. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle so the passengers behind you can pass you. This will expedite our boarding process. Uh, guys, this is what we look like after three days travelling, two full nights on planes, and two here. days before that travelling as well. So, no bath, we have cleaned our teeth, we haven't shaved, but how are you feeling? I'm feeling what you would expect to feel after all that traveling yes. excited to be here very excited thank goodness and we're looking very much forward to getting to see our new boat yes but we do need to sleep and we do need a wash we feel particularly anti-social so we are very much socially distancing not for the usual reasons <laughs> here we are at the fort lauderdale marina where our beloved Ultra Dash. Well, to be beloved. To be beloved. <laughs> is waiting for us. So it's very exciting. This is a moment that, I don't know about you, but I have thought about this for years yes. and years and years. Um, all like our hard work. That's right. All those times that have been really trying. This is the day that I've thought about that we eventually will come and take possession of our boat and. Um, the day is here, so we are very excited. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Falling in the river again. There we go. There it is. There she is. A beautiful ultra dash. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh, she's breathtaking. <laughs> How gorgeous she is. I want to go on. All right. You first, honey. She's a bit heavier than Elberdash. Wow, look at that. He's on. Woo! <laughs> 
Would you be interested in coming aboard my boat? Oh, I would Madam. love to, kind sir. <laughs> wow, she is so beautiful. So do you want to go inside or outside first, honey? Which way do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Look at the table. Let's look at the table first. Look at the table. Yeah. Look how big it is. We can fit all of our friends. The whole three of them. <laughs> oh, you look very small on that big table. feel it but the aircon's been on all night and it's just gorgeously cool it really suits you <laughs> <laughs> yay <laughs> except my voice doesn't do that <laughs> She's a happy girl, eh? <laughs> Look, what was these ones? Imagine all the fun we'll have there, honey. Madam, the front cockpit. A bit of pole dancing. <laughs> it's a pretty short pole. Yeah, you can't because you've got corners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think 